Yo, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Uh, real quick, if you're new here, uh, my name is Albert. I just uh, make some videos on uh, stuff that I'm doing in terms of put selling for Tesla. Trying to make a lot of money doing that. I also hold a lot of shares. Um, and I just document my I just document my trades as I do them. Hopefully the goal is after a certain period of time I'll have like a evidence of me making money. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so I want to make an extra video this week because Tesla this morning announced that they are gonna do a, talk, a stock split, and uh, it's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, why is that crazy? Well, because last time they announced a stock split, the stock price went up like crazy. And as a stockholder, I am happy with the news, obviously. But as someone that's been trying to sell puts. With at the money cash record puts, it makes it a lot harder to make money. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about my my plans there. But really quick on the stock split, I read a lot of articles talking about a dividend, and I don't think Tesla is going to be giving out dividends, cash dividends, anytime in the near future because that money that they make is better invested than giving out to giving out to imp, uh, stockholders. But what they said by dividend is basically what's going to happen is how they issue new shares. They'll give you a dividend of let's say five shares, right? Or let's say four shares. So if you're gonna do a five to one split, they'll issue you four more four more shares via a dividend. And now you have five shares when you just had one. And then they're gonna the price will get divided by five. Right? That's what that means. That's how they're gonna do the split. So if you see dividend, I don't think Tesla's gonna be giving a dividend. Uh and you know, when is this gonna happen? They're gonna have to get approval from the I don't know, shareholders I think. So we're gonna they're gonna have to vote on it. And the reason they need to vote on it is because they need to issue new shares, right? Before when they did the split, they had enough shares outstanding to do it, but now they need to issue new shares. And uh, yeah, when's that gonna happen? I think in the past, the shareholder meeting has always been in June, but last year and the year before, it was in like September and October. So is that because of COVID? Probably, but I don't know what's going on. So it's probably some, somewhere between June and October. Probably June, I'm guessing. That's why they would announce it so early, but honestly, I have no idea. Um, why are they doing it? I'm guessing it's because they just want to lower their price points so more people can get in. So retailer investors can get in. But another thing I read about is like if you're doing like if you're an employee of the company and they're paying you that ESPP, uh, uh, employee share stock program or whatever, or participation program, stock participation. Oh, employee stock participation program probably. And what that is is like you can take a percentage of your salary. So let's say 15% of my salary, I don't get paid at the end of the quarter. They'll use that money to buy stocks, right? But if they have to buy a whole increments of a thousand dollars, then that makes it very difficult. And you also get a discount, right? So it's a it's a, it's a perk for employees, but uh, it makes it difficult for employees to do that, especially if the stock price is so high. So I'm guessing if you have a lower stock price, you can buy shares, right? Uh, and what's going to happen? I I think what's going to happen, just based on his, history, is the stock price is going to run up, up until the point where it splits, and then it's going to and then it's going to fall down. So that's what I think will happen. But you know who knows? So if you've been following along, I've been telling you I'm going to hold strong. I'm going to wait for the dip, and then I'm going to sell puts on the dip. And yeah, after today's run up, I was like, yo, fuck that. I think I think this is going to run up based on this hype, and this news is going to come out, and you know, whatever, whatever. So without thinking a lot about it, I just sold a put for $1,000 for April 29th. I figure this will be right around earnings. I'll probably close out right before earnings. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the stock price will rally before earnings anyways, and probably after earnings. So maybe I will hold it. I don't know. Um, but you know, I just sold a thousand dollar put for, for a, a month from now, collected about $4,200 in premium, $4,300 in premium. No, I took the, yeah, 43, 40 in premium. You see, I already lost 18 bucks, but Hey, uh, it's a super high, it's a super low premium price for this because the stock price, everything just ran up in terms of. Or I guess ran down in terms of premium prices, but I just want to do it because I feel like it's gonna go up and it's gonna stay up. And hey, worst case scenario, if it does go down, I can just roll. And I did it like a month out, so I have plenty of time. And I might actually still sell cash secured puts on top of this uh, as time goes on, just depending on how it goes. So possibility, I'm just throwing it out there. That's what I did. I I felt the FOMO. I've been FOMOing for two weeks now, and I felt it a lot real bad. Today is that a bad move? I mean, probably, but at the same time, like. If it does go down, I can always roll it. It is going to be around earnings, so I feel like there's a lot of catalyst here. Uh, there's a lot of good news coming out, and I just feel like Tesla stock can hold, even though it probably, uh, even though it's like kind of on the higher end. So yeah. Oh yeah, I made a slide. So uh, yeah, I got FOMO. Um, yeah, so I sold I sold like a month out put right after I ever said that, uh, and then I said it should close out. Yeah, all right, I said all these things. Um, cool. So that's kind of what I did. 
and you know whatever it's four thousand dollars if i make four thousand dollars great if i if i don't make it i'll just roll it uh you can see the other puts i have are long dated this is the one that i rolled and you can see it's doing a lot better i think at five thousand is where i start breaking even so i mean this is probably definitely going to finish out the money this one i just i got this put as a loan kind of you know the price was really low i got an 830 at the money put for a year out and i was just trying to collect as much premium as i can I just did this to collect the 25k, and I just hold, I'm holding 25k right now in cash. So it's, it's, essentially, this is gonna be like a, a loan I'm getting for free without interest, because there's no way this is gonna finish in the money, in my mind. I mean, it's possible, but it's not gonna happen. All right, so that's what I'm doing. I'll give you an update on what happens Friday, or you know, I guess as it happens. Well, this is this is actually long date, longer dated, so it's more chill. It's kind of funny because I've been talking about doing hey short dated cash secure puts at the money, and I did that for like a week and it didn't work out, and now I'm like now I'm getting like real. I mean, it, it didn't not work out, but just, I'm just waiting for a period of time to do it. But now I'm just like, fuck it, going back to the old strategy. Because um, I'm like, yo, I'm holding all this cash. I want, I, I, I missed the run up because I was holding shares, but I put it into cash. Now I missed the run up. Now I want to put more cash into shares. And now I'm going to do margin. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. All right, hope that makes sense. Please like and subscribe, et cetera, et cetera. Talk to you soon. Thanks.